<sighs> Welcome to 2020. We're Bridge Adapt. We're ready to take part. Wow. Welcome to 2020. We're Bridge the Gap. I can't do that so hard in my ears. <laughs> wow. Welcome to 2020. We're Bridge the Gap and we're here to take young men from where they are to where they want to be. Wow. Welcome to the Welcome to episode number one of the Bridge the Gap vlog. Bridge the Gap has been doing a lot behind the scenes the last eight to twelve months. And this episode is all about catching you up, giving you insight into what's been going on during that time. There's been a lot more than what you'll see, um, but this gives you an insight a bit into the ups and the downs and um, a good insight into our business. Now, Bridge the Gap is a platform that takes men from where they are to where they want to be. And we're finally at that stage where we're about to really start launching products and services to give everyone a real good insight into who we are, what we're about, and what we're trying to achieve. And so you can see more at www.btgtoday.com.au. You can get your free Bridges the Gap guide, which will help you uh, document where you are now, where you want to be, and give you all the actionable steps to be able to get there as well. So make sure you check that out. We also have a free Facebook group for young men who want to dive into a community full of like-minded guys. Um, share your story, get interactive. We're delivering tons and tons of value. With that, enjoy the episode. Today, this is today, business number one, big business, uh, the milestone in history for us. Mm. Uh, and it's exciting. We're doing it all ourselves. Like that. Yeah, don't be shy. Uh, but it's something that we'll be very proud of. We'll look mm. in three years' time at where we started and then where we are, and uh, it will be very different. Cooney's gonna watch back this vlog in three years' time, and I reckon he'll still be running that fucking flano. <laughs> <laughs> no one's here to stay. Uh, Shut that off. You know? so, uh, <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Andrew Quinn here from Bridge the Gap. Do you want um, to explain to everyone what we're doing? We're here uh, for historical purposes. We want to record the day. Uh, it's the 16th of May. Um, we're here talking to Regan from G'day Frank. And we're doing branding. This is so exciting. Uh, so I don't need to come. Uh, as you can tell, we've filled out a lot. Um, we're <laughs> so really a lot. making great progress. Don't look at Jared's work. Look Jared at, look at Reagan's stuff. and Jared is oh, this stuff, work but he's on. getting there. Uh, yeah, and I got food because energy. Uh, let's go. I want to really aim to leave you in a better state than when you came to us. To provide you with an overall sense of happiness and to give you the motivation that you need. I know what it feels like to lose someone. I know what it's like to lack the confidence to take action in my life. I know what it's like to be unsure and uncertain. Our mission is to be the change society is looking for from our generation of young men. Massive on adversity builds a strong mind, but at the same time, you've got to you got to look at it in that perspective you can't let you can't let that become the beast that you like you become a prisoner to your own kind of devil you know what i mean like um uh, like you've got to look at it and be like like now it's like i love when mistakes happen because it's like i'm going to grow from this shit yeah that's that's the biggest shift that's the mind that's the mind and a lot of people a lot of people can use uh they let a story define them and think that's that's end game. She pulls out this stick, pregnancy test, and I'm going, I'm going, what's this? She's like, I'm pregnant. I, just went, I was like, oh fuck. Thursday, 14th, sun has risen, and we're off to Sydney today to film two podcast episodes. I'm pumped. We're going for a swim. 
It's actually really, really cold. It's clean, it's beautiful. Let's do it. Just, just bring it in. So we're just having a little chat. Hold on, here he comes. He's gonna get angry. If, if go away. Go away. These boys think that we can have breakfast better. in 30 it minutes. It makes you better than people if you get up at 4 a.m. And it makes you better yeah. if you tease people about yeah. being late. If any potential investors are watching this video, um, we promise yeah. that we have structure to our business. Uh, but just deal with me. Every time, bro. Jared's always late. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Oh, it's a bit cold. It's actually warm. Every time we have a catch up, we barely do. Bro, did you just get a, our message? No. We've just had a crash coming down past. 7-Eleven. Oh, yeah, I don't, dude, I don't know, like, if we're gonna make it. Cooney's, like, stressing. He's, like, dealing with the other person now. Hey, where, where were you going to? 7-Eleven. Yeah, no, we'll, yeah, we're coming down, like, about to pull in to get petrol. Oh, uh, well, I'll have to message Travis if you're in, like, if you're actually being legit. Well, where, whereabouts are you now? Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> We're going the wrong way. 31k is all meant to be there at 9 o'clock. Oh well. So we raise generations. Really wants to listen That's to not going to happen through traditional later. education. Gone are the days where we can talk about the education system. Oh, oh, incredibly yeah. effective. Oh. Wait, set, wait, set, hold it, mate. Just in case. 20, <laughs> 2020, Jared Brown, pick mate. Wow. Wow. What a wing. What's wrong with you? It's not fancy football, bro. Bah. Wow. One. Briggs, 2020, pick me. <laughs> and he obviously has his shirt off as well. Nice. One out of one. Sick man, 2020. <laughs> Skills. You'll <laughs> Jared, you're actually the worst there, sorry bro. That was warm-up round. That was warm-up round. Warm-up round. Warm up round. We, need to hit, we need to build up a fucking movement and audience based on us entertaining, being open and authentic as ourselves, being the best possible fucking guys 
that go for their goals in life, that live a life on fucking purpose, that live, that have all these aspirations, and that want to help. If we can be the ringleaders and we can be the leaders of this movement, people are going to gravitate towards it. They are. They're going to. Head on fire. No, putting on fire. Putting out fire. Otherwise. Yeah, we're all we're all super busy, right? And uh, and like I can even talk this from you know us here at the Entourage. We are going through the strategic planning process for the year right now. So myself and the leaders of each of the departments are developing our departmental strategic plan. It's hard to balance. It's hard to juggle, right? Because stuff's going on, right? You've got to worry about your marketing, sales, the fires that are happening in the business, also the fires that are happening all over the place, right? There's a lot of external influences. So to really let you guys get a grasp for how little I think we all look ahead, I want to do one little activity before we begin. I want you to go back into your calendar, right? I want you to pick a month. Not last month, not like the holiday month. Maybe pick November or September. And what I'd like you to do is have a quick look through your calendar. I want you to count up each time in there, you've got an appointment or something in there, that's a focus on today. Meeting is good. Where's he? <laughs> in the view room. Yes, the room with the nice view. Even on that cloudy day, it's good. Right. So influences, marketing. Then once you spend a year nailing it all, you can scale it at, uh, at a fast rate, which is yeah. what we want to do. So we're going to try and get the school starting when they go back, which I think the second or third for most schools are, maybe in the week before. But just start touching base with schools around the coast, let them know what we're about building our school program together. So that'll be something that uh, maybe me and Jared and also will probably combine and put together. Um, and then we can go out and present to them. It'll be a mix of obviously a training session, getting them moving, but then also touch points on maybe overcoming fear, how to set goals, whatever we decide on. Um, and our men's sessions. So there's another big one. Really, really big one, I think. We're going to run maybe once a month a big boys session. So again, we did a little bit of it last year, but getting getting guys together, training session at the start, but then more in depth. Even just in that beers after, just yeah. talk around, just talk. We did a beer and pizza. Like yeah. Like yeah. Okay, so we've done something that's moved our body, and now we're in a safe exactly. environment where we can have these conversations and you know and have your beer or whatever. Yeah. 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 Stuff, so we're trying to build up in that case. So you know, I can bring my two self to the situation. Yeah. How they do the position? What is your aim? Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. We spend two hundred bucks in two years on pizza. Boys come, they don't have to pay anything. They just come. We just build that credibility up. Hundred um, percent. And then mine is uh, liaising a little bit more with you and talking about like investors' perspective and where we can build that up, um, which will probably be closer to the main. Um, our goal is to build up like the social media. So I'm checking the stats on what we're growing by each week, whether it be like reach. So if we're gradually gaining a hundred percent. So then when we go to investors, we can just say since. January, we've we've grown this much in our Facebook group. We've grown this much on our social media. Every week we're going up and up and up. So then they have something to show for it. Um, it's funny uh, because I know we've seen this movie, but Justin Bieber's first movie called Out, Never Say Never, yeah. a massive fan of him. But he starts by playing on YouTube. And he goes from like having one likes to two likes, and yeah. they do this roll of all of a sudden he's going from a thousand to two thousand to fifteen thousand to yeah. you know, over a million, and yeah. it just obviously generates and then school of like, yeah. listen, just yeah. believe it, guys. Yeah. Obviously, you know where he is now. Yeah. Um, but I think that it's just again that consistency of just yeah. being consistent, social media, getting yourself out there, putting stuff out there, making sure the content is relevant. Yeah. Um, and then I think it's a case of okay, give it six months time, twelve months time, and then we can really go, okay, so this is how it's all this is the product, this is the brand, yeah. this is where we've gone from, this is our following, where do we take to the next step? Yeah. Yeah, okay, we need some serious, serious investors here, like million dollars of investors. Yeah. Yeah.